Hey, what's up? It's Blake here. How are you? As Amazon becomes more and more difficult to resell on for people like you and me, I have been transitioning back to eBay, back to the good old days. Now, mostly I sell VCRs, DVDs. This is not that kind of stuff. It's all one-off things that I found at garage sales or thrift stores. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get going. I sold a Logitech Harmony 880 remote with the cradle and power supply for $29.95 free shipping. Now, I bought this for about eight bucks, I believe, at a Salvation Army. I made a haul video about it. I was going to sell it on Amazon, but it didn't, I just didn't feel good about the condition of it. Uh, it wasn't perfect condition. And oftentimes on Amazon, you're going to get more returns for condition because they see the stock photo and they expect everything to be just like that. So even though it would have gone for like 60 on Amazon, I chose eBay. I got, again, 30 bucks for it about uh, I paid for shipping. It shipped for uh, first class mail. It was like 15 ounces, went to Colorado. And you know, I'm just gonna go over generally what I believe the profits are. But if you want the actual details, uh, this is all part of my zero to 10K challenge or my 10 to 10K challenge. Uh, and I have that spreadsheet linked below. I'm above a thousand dollars. All's going good. The next item I wanna share with you guys that I sold is uh, the North Face 550 down jacket. Sold for 70 bucks, free shipping. These go for like 125 during the winter. It's off season if you're not, you know, you don't know. It's like June 1st or June, yeah, June 1st today. Uh, it went to Vancouver, Washington. It fit in a padded rate, flat rate mailer, padded mailer. Uh, I had to, you know, really compress it down there. Uh, I paid 25 for it, sold for 70, cost eight bucks to ship, small profit. Uh, I accidentally, <laughs> it's been in the death pile for a long time. If I was smart, I would have listed it, you know, five months ago and sold it for 125 or 110. The next thing is a Tiffany & Co. Sterling Silver 18 karat pen knife, pocket knife, Swiss Army knife. It's actually a Swiss Army knife because it has, a, it's like a collaboration with Victor Knox or whatever the uh, company is called. I sold this for 189 with free shipping and kind of a funny story. So the comps on these are all over the place. I did not have the turquoise. Uh, brush case or whatever you want to call that. It's what everything Tiffany does gets like shipped in. It's like their interior packaging. So I didn't have that. Uh, if it was in mint condition with that uh, turquoise case, probably 250, 225. Uh, I listed this originally at 169.95, and I got a bunch of lowball offers of like 100, 120. I bought this for I think 50 bucks like four or five years ago. Um, I just had it because I thought it was cool, but I was time to you know sell stuff, move on. Uh, I listed it at, again, like I said, 169, a bunch of lowball offers, raised my price to 200, and then I got an offer the next day for 189, and I took that immediately. Uh, generally, this Tiffany stuff, if you can find it on auction for like maybe a fifth of what retail price is, you can usually like salvage like 70% retail price if it's all in good condition. Um, you know, these sales are few and far between, or at least finding that low, you know, sniping auctions is, but it's something to look out for. Next up, I sold a Guy Harvey XXL, uh, like Marlin, uh, red, yellow, and green. It's like Rastafarian colors, the Jamaican flag, all that stuff. Uh, in t-shirt, the t-shirt. Uh, I used Rasta in the keywords. What I did is I went to sold listings and someone sold one of these for 20 bucks. That was the highest, this same exact pattern, uh, the highest sold listing. I copied everything they had. Uh, I put in XXL because theirs was a large, and then I raised the price by a few bucks. I sold this for uh, 23.95 with free shipping. It goes first class mail, sold in about two days. Probably I could have gone a bit higher, uh, but again, this is old stock I've had in my warehouse for like two or three years, so I'm happy to see it go after I listed it. I sold a lot of children's books, the Berenstain Bears, uh, on auction. It was 23 books. It sold for $26 plus shipping. Shipping was $5.69. That's medium mail, what I paid as well. There's not big discounts on medium mail through Pirate Ship or eBay or whatever. Uh, so I bought all these books back when I was doing truckloads of books. So I paid, you know, I, I, on the spreadsheet, I said I paid a dime per book. That's probably too high. I bet I paid more about a nickel or less per book. Um, they were, again, in a pallet of books. So most of the, you know, the sweat equity far outweighed the actual cost that I paid for them. Uh, but I've had them here just in the warehouse for a long time. Like back there, all on the, those shelves are just old books I have to go through still. Uh, auctioned them off. Yeah, I got 26 bucks plus shipping. You know, not great, but for things that I otherwise would have thrown away or recycled, 
pretty happy with that. Next is the Leapfrog Leapster GS Explorer. It's like a, you know, a, 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 a game gear with learning stuff for kids. This one was in beat condition. So normally I want to sell these on Amazon. Uh, they've made some changes to the listings. It's getting more and more difficult to sell toys in collectible condition on Amazon FBA for a lot of reasons. That's a whole different video. Um, so I listed this one on eBay for not because the listing was taken down, but because it had stains in the case, it was missing a stylus, all sorts of stuff that makes it, it works still, it's fine to use, um, but that just like screams to me, Amazon return. I think I paid eight bucks for this uh, a few months ago. I sold it for $29.95, uh, let's see, and I, it was free shipping. Uh, it shipped at, it was like a, a six by seven by three box, weighed a pound and a half. I got priority cubic mail. It's going to Ohio. It's like 50 miles away from here. So it's actually shipped for less than a padded flat rate mailer would have cost. It was like $7.60. Uh, you know, I'm making 10 bucks or so on there. Not a huge sale, but definitely these are the kind of sales. You have 10 of those a day or 10 of those a week. It's an extra 100 bucks. Uh, they're what add up for sure. Speaking of sales adding up, what I'm not showing you are two main categories of my eBay store, and that's collectible cards and uh, jewelry. So I sell a lot of those. I'm not going to include those because it's kind of uh, tedious, I think, to talk about like, oh, well, here's, you know, all these old ba basketball cards that are kind of identical unless you're uh, interested in old basketball stuff. You know, uh, I don't want to waste your time with that because primarily what I'm doing with those listings, the jewelry and the uh, collectible trading card listings, is just getting out a bunch of low value items to keep my store fresh. I make about two bucks per listing. I can list, you know, 10 baseball cards in 25 minutes. Uh, you know, so I'm still not like wasting my time per se. You know, you, that's arguable, I guess. But if I can sell 40 bucks of inventory and it takes 20 minutes to list and 10 minutes to ship it out, that's still making 80 bucks an hour. Uh, you know, I'm kind of massaging the numbers, but the main reason I do this is not to make the money off the cards, although it is definitely welcome. I don't want to think I'm, you know, I'm not too good for it or anything like that. Uh, but because the more you list, the more frequent listings you have on your eBay store, uh, the more traffic eBay drives to your other listings. So when I list these sports cards or the jewelry, the small jewelry, I'm more likely to sell the big stuff like that, uh, you know, the, the Tiffany um, knife or the, uh, you know, the out of season North Face jacket for 70 bucks. You might say, oh, well, it's because you lowered your price, you sold it. But there was uh, listings for that, that same jacket for 50 bucks plus shipping. Uh, it would have been less, you know, overall. Uh, so I think that probably it had to do more with my listing um, procedures and patterns uh, than just like be, it being the lowest price, because it wasn't the lowest price. Long story short, what I'm trying to say is the more things you list, the more things you're going to sell. And not just because you have a larger store, but because the more activity eBay sees, the more traffic they drive to your store. Next up was a garage sale fine. I paid $1 for a leather bound book. It was a Dostoevsky. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Dostoevsky. Um, it was a collection of short stories. I think it was stories from the underground and something else. It was like a limited edition. If you were a subscriber to this book club in the 70s, they sent you this one out. So it was uh, a bonus edition in a larger set. And the, the the regular books were selling for like 45. I had this listed at $77 and change. Uh, took a best offer of 50 in about four days. I had a dollar into it. It shipped media mail. I was very cautious about the packaging. Made sure that all the corners and edges was, uh, edges had um you know bubble wrap around them, and it was like a like a cheeseburger but with a book uh, and bubble wrap instead of meat and buns. So if that makes sense to you, uh, it, it shipped out for like four fifty. So all in, I'm you know five fifty. Uh, eBay fees are twelve percent. So I made like 40 bucks on that and it sold in like four or five days. The next item I sold for $13.95. I've had it in my inventory for like five years. It is an obsolete piece of, of tech. I'll read you off what it is. Cause it's like, I, I couldn't remember this. Wireless LAN PCI adapter, Wi-Fi compatible, compatible Windows X64. Sold for $13.95. I've had it listed forever, forever. I got it at a thrift store, I assume for like 99 cents. Uh, I, I have no idea my original buy cost. It occurred years ago. I thought it was junk, to be honest, but I just relisted it like a week ago. Or no, actually like six months ago. And then I changed the price like a week ago. I had 20 bucks. 
I lowered it to $13.95, which is, you know, about 10 bucks plus shipping. Kind of shakes out the same way. And it sold uh, to somebody internationally, so I shipped it to Erlanger, right, Kentucky, uh, uh, to the eBay global shipping thing. And then they're going to handle the, uh, you know, rest of the fulfillment. So I made about, you know, eight bucks off of that. I don't know. <laughs> Not a great sale, but uh, I, I can guarantee you I wouldn't have sold this if I hadn't been listing all of my sports cards and jewelry to keep the eBay store fresh. I sold a uh, Metallica, uh, just like reproduction, uh, Master of Puppets, Puppets, is that what it is? Yeah, Master of Puppets. I was gonna say Master of Puppetry. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, that cool t-shirt with like all of the, uh, they're like in the graveyard with the tombstones. So that for 10 bucks, free shipping to a viewer. I took a best offer. Uh, it was a bad buy from a long time ago. I didn't realize it wasn't an authentic vintage t-shirt. It was like a Target reproduction. Still very cool. Uh, I love the design personally. Um, I'm not a big Metallica fan, but I like metal in general. So I'm fine to, you know, sell that for... <laughs> I made like four bucks off of it. But more importantly, it goes to a good home and someone that I know. So you know who you are watching this. Thank you very much. And I even did a little doodle on the uh, <laughs> on the box for it, or the bag. Next up is a Speedball Art Products 4181 Poppin Brayer Kit Rolling Craft Tool. What is that? I have no clue. This is an example of me going to a thrift store, seeing something new in package. In this case, it was new open box, so it had been cut open but never used, uh, and scanning the barcode and looking for comps. So it's I assume it's some sort of like ink press tool. You, you, maybe you have like a relief cut or some sort of like woodblock print uh, device and you put the ink on it with a roller. I assume that's what it is. Uh, again, another international sale. I was five bucks into this. It shipped first class mail. So I made about 20 bucks. Another piece of stale inventory that I've had for a few years that is actually off season, amazingly. It's sold in the middle of summer. It's an Obermeyer 80s, 90s, like ski sweater. It's a cool color block. It's like, let's see, it's red and like a navy and a, a, a white color. I thought it was so awesome. Uh, I had it listed at 75 bucks for a long time. Got nothing. Uh, and then an offer came in a few weeks ago, or let's see, an offer came in about a week ago uh, at 50 bucks. And I said, hell yeah, I'll, I'll, absolutely. I think I was like three bucks into it. I bought it at a Savers, which is like, in my opinion, a lower brand thrift store. Uh, so I'm definitely happy to see that go to someone who wants it. I actually had a refund. So here's a way that I screwed up. I sold a copy of Grizzly on VHS for $12.95, sold almost immediately. It's a cult horror film. Cult horror uh, for VHS tapes does really well. I, you know, there's like a, a whole community around it. So I, like an idiot, I did not bubble wrap this good enough. Um, it had about a half of inch of space in the, the cardboard mailer I mailed it out in. It must have jangled around uh, because the springs that help the tape function, one of those broke. The guy messaged me, he goes, hey, it doesn't work. And I said, oh, well, shit, I tested it out. You know, in cases like this, could he have been lying to me? Yeah, I suppose so. But it was $12.95. I don't think he was lying to me. I think it was my fault. I said, you know what? I'll refund you, keep it. It's a really cool case. Maybe you can at least display the case. And the final thing I want to show you is actually from a short, uh, a YouTube short or a reel, whatever the hell they're called. I have no idea. It was a TikTok. It's everywhere on social media that I'm posting short videos uh, of a, like a bento box, lunch box. It sold for $33.19 uh, because I charged like 23 bucks plus shipping. It went to somebody across the country. Sold in like three or four days. Really cool item. Anything that has a utility like that, like a lunch box, uh, but also has like some sort of cool branding or a niche interest, I'm always going to be looking up. Uh, again, I sold that for, it was $22.49 plus shipping. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of video and I'll see you next Monday as I wrap up the previous week, aka right now this week's sales. I'll see you later.